ఎలా ఉన్నారు బాగున్నారు కదా క్రియేటివిటీ ఈజ్ ఏ వైల్డ్ మైండ్ అండ్ ఏ డిసిప్లిన్ ఐ మనం ఏం తిన్నాం ఏం చేస్తున్నాం ఎలా ఉన్నాం అని ఎవ్వరూ పట్టించుకోరు కానీ ఏం వేసుకున్నానని మాత్రం అందరూ గమనిస్తూ ఉంటారు ఎందుకంటే మన పబ్లిక్ అపీరియన్స్ బట్టే కదా మనం ఏంటో తెలిసేది మన స్టైల్ అండ్ ఫ్యాషన్ సెన్స్కు అంత వాల్యూ ఉంది బయట ప్రపంచంలో ఆయన ఫ్యాషన్ డిజైనింగ్ గురించి మీకు చెప్పాలో చెప్పండి చేప పిల్లకు ఈత నేర్పించినట్లే ఫ్యాషన్ డిజైనింగ్ కోర్స్ చేస్తూ ఈ ప్రపంచాన్ని మరింత అందంగా మార్చడానికి మీరు ఎంత కగ్గనం కట్టుకున్నారో అర్థమవుతుంది మాట్లాడుకుందాం ఈ ఎపిసోడ్లో అన్నీ మాట్లాడుకుందాం మీ ఫ్యాషన్ సెన్స్ గురించి ఇక్కడికి ఎందుకు వచ్చారు ఈ కోర్స్ ఎందుకు తీసుకున్నారు ఇలా అన్ని విషయాలు మాట్లాడుకుందాం సో లెట్ స్టార్ట్ అవర్ ఫేవరెట్ ట్రైనింగ్ షో కాలేజ్ డేస్ మన ఫనాడాలో ఫ్యాషన్ టెక్నాలజీలో వీళ్ళకు ఉండే ట్రెండీ ఫ్యాషన్ ఐడియాస్ గురించి అండ్ వీళ్ళ క్రియేటివ్ వరల్డ్ గురించి కంప్లీట్ చిట్ చాట్ ని తెలుసుకుందాం వచ్చేయండి హాయ్ గైస్ యా మోర్ దెన్ యు ఐ ఫీల్ నర్వస్ టు టాక్ విత్ యు గైస్ ఓకే హాయ్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ హాయ్ మామ్ యా హాయ్ హౌ ఆర్ యు I am good. So, what is the difference that uh, we can find other fields and in, uh, with the uh, I mean, fashion technology? In this field, first of all, nobody will force you to do anything and like uh, there is no pressure. So, you have the freedom to do like anything and if you are creative, you are going to excel in this field. Okay. What uh, influenced you to come here? Like I was a medical student. Uh, so you are a medical student? I was. A me- I, I attempted. Uh, for a medical examination but uh, i wanted to do something creative and i was always crea- always a creative person yes so. you are right as a doctor you can't create anything exactly and that stopped my creativity <laughs> okay you know, so you don't that want to switch the bodies you want to switch the clothes yeah. rather than that okay <laughs> that's good and i want to ask you that uh, we all know uh, fashion means clothes yes. other than the, what you have guys we just think that fashion can be clothes fashion can be but fashion is beyond just clothes it's accessories it's hairstyle it's makeup it is also communication communication design graphic design can be also fashion journalism we have a part okay. that we do so hi you're looking so innocent actually <laughs> so i want to ask you that uh, uh, ever you did any bunk in the college or anything happened uh we just started college so it's your first year right yeah it's our first semester so what you find out like uh, before enter the college after enter the call uh, enter the college what see the difference you uh i was like uh, i was into fashion since like very long uh, because my family is in this field only so yeah since childhood i have been uh, in this field so i don't think so there is much difference but yeah the environment is like very influential so um, like my fashion sense is more uh, creative now okay and, uh, <laughs> this is my basic look <laughs> after <laughs> yeah so yeah i think my fashion sense is more creative now and um, i'm much more outspoken i was not before so yeah that's the only difference so uh, as normal as uh, i mean parents are forced to go to the engineering or uh, go to this doctor uh, stream or like why you choose fashion designing more over than i would first like to tell you that uh, i am the only non engineer from my family oh all our engineers oh, yeah, that's all great all very inspiring my, even my own elder brother is electrical engineer so they were didn't force me to do engineering but they preferred they uh, just gave me the option that you can go in the technical line also but i chose this okay any reason behind it yeah uh, i always had a keen interest in traditional indian traditional designs own our own culture okay uh, as i have also interested in history also that's why okay that's good so you can pass to her hi hello so i mean uh, i mean not completely about the college the uh, other things which you uh, can make with your friends what is that in this college in this month what you did with your friends till now any funny things you want to share i made a lot of memory a lot like within this one month only <laughs> okay it was fun like uh, i uh, this was my first time when i stayed in hostel and uh, the experience in hostel and uh, before coming to nept i was like kind of introverted and i was not that outgoing person but i feel like when i came here and 
I feel the change in myself. Okay. Uh, you guys tell me, she is introvert or extrovert? She was very introvert. <laughs> she was very <laughs> Not now. Yes, she is slowly breaking her shell. Okay. So, your dance partner, hi. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, uh, more even fashion, not your, if you are not a fashion designer, what you will be? See, I am a very spiritual person. Uh, out of all that, uh, I, like I have creativity. I would love to be a designer, but if uh, there was another option, uh, being uh, like uh, not being a designer, but something else, then I would like to be a Krishna devotee that I already am, because that's only I am left. Uh, uh, because I do uh, Krishna's, I mean, I really love him. Thank you so much to remember that. Yeah. Very different. I, I can't, I mean, like, uh, I can't thought that from, uh, from you actually. Okay, guys, thank you so much yeah, for your chit chat. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, so, hi, guys. Hi. So, you all are first years. Okay, so, Mir Telugu Kada. So, A state Ninchi. Ikade, Telangana Ninchi. Okay, so, Telangana people in the circle, or like, Mana Telugu states low, maximum we want to cover engineering, a doctor, even a co parentship. But, how you influence them? And my parents tell you which house hello. And my parents, and they, my dad free actually. Okay, so they are very okay. okay. So, my niekend ki idea achchi the fashion designing start che aali. And they kancha mera want and so creative world ka. And that pressure want and engineering side and that. Okay. It kancha free girl poch. Free girl. Manchi easy. Expect chase nette on the college kora. Ha. So any difference like bite onna dan ki lopla. Choose to not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, same. same. So I want to know me like uh, uh, classes gani or else other thing. In the morning uh, 9 15 and 4 15 work. 3 3 hours one class. 3 3 hours one class. Uh, okay. I mean three sessions and mata majal break is the same. Okay. <laughs> uh, Attendance consum both of the okay. Imagine <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I uh, have lunch break one hour. Okay. So, uh, four, four fifteen there was or else. I'm, and classes, the thunder jappalan kunte chappe sellpo taru manistam. Okay. Ah, un dalan kute un touchu like kute lipo touchu. Class side pa yaka. Ide do baon da bhai ne ring ghante. So, mari ala wellipoi ala un to number meko classes ana vi ante exams atla abhi ala ante process lo untai. Exams practical allowed. Okay. Practical only A right theory, up. Theory, theory good good under like jury, okay. midterm, end term, jury allowed. Okay. okay. So, uh, allow on the prestani ki one month college atla. Chala baan. Chala baan na. So expectation nete. Expectation kante inka baan. Inka baan di. So bankal kot sinmal kel dalu alan. Ah, la aim le. Asa to nidra pone ke time unda to. Oh na. One month lo nidrapoye time kudi vatle da. Ante unta di assignment chala unna. Acha cha. Kani me kavi funny fun one. Ah okay, not like engineering chadi me na two alan picture kona. Simply unda alian picture pele islam. Ante ka. Hmm ante. Okay next. Hi Malayali. Hi. So uh, how is you feeling to join in this and uh, college and how the things differ from your state to here? Yeah, uh, it's nice actually and. Uh, we don't feel any difference from our state. Hyderabad is good and the college, its expectation is same. same. Okay. Uh, and we have just, uh, what to say, uh, we have a lot of assignments, but it's fun. It's not like a pressure. It's good. Good actually. Yeah, it's actually good. So, uh, how do you feel about the staff or faculty? Yeah, they're all uh, cool. Uh, they'll help us. Nice. And the teachers are also so good. Don't like uh, they don't pressure us for anything. Everything is cool, simple. Yeah, I think fashion. I mean, fashion technology or it's a creative and the uh, practical part, right? Yes. More than theory. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's very funny. I think. Yeah, so. it's so funny. The classes are so funny. The group activities we enjoy a lot in groups and everything. Thank you. And I want to ask you. You are from which state? Kerala. Kerala only. Yeah. So how is the food here? <laughs> I am speechless. <laughs> Why so? Basically, I uh, we we are not okay with the North Indian style, yeah. Okay. So our taste buds are just dirt, I think, <laughs> because we are having very spicy like that yeah, food, yeah. Uh, that sorry, and I miss that more. But it's okay. We want to experience this too, yeah. But the places and all, I was completely okay with it. Okay. And I came here uh, 
just one week, one week before. Okay, your uh, parents are okay with the, this fashion technology, or else you influence them to come here. Yeah, I influenced basically. <laughs> they need to be a, a doctor or engineer or something yeah, like that. Something like uh, okay. And they are forcing me, and they took me the uh, biology science in plus two, okay. but my track is on a <laughs> different way. Different path. Yeah. Okay. And I choose this, and I realized them that yeah, this was a good career, and they uh, okay, okay, okay with the thing. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you for your time. Thank you. So hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Had your lunch? Yes. So that's fine. So my first, like, it's just a chit chat. It's not about a complete questions. Okay. So how is the college? How you feel? Uh, you are from different state, right? Yeah. So how it differs from your state? It is a little bit different about the fashion activities over here and very different, unique and new experience and new exposure over here. So uh, you met so many people here, right? So different, different from different states, the different mindset. How can you manage the things in this college? Uh, it's which is different from your uh, like culture. It's very interesting to know different people with different culture. Like you know, like their cultures very much. It's too different from where you belong. So yeah, like their mindset. Sometimes it happens that something doesn't matches with you, but like most of the time, it's amazing to meet with new people, talk with them, and have friends and have a feeling of homey, homely there. So. <laughs> It's like home feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, did you visit this? Uh, I mean, your home after you ca came here? No, no, no. Till not. Okay, fine. So, next. So, before you entered into this college, you follow some uh, fashion sense, right? Which is completely different after you enter into this, right? So, how it differs? How you feel to learn the things in fashion? First, like, I was more into casual wear and I was not into much dressing up and I just wanted some comfortable casual wear and after seeing so many like people like dressing in such like they have such a such good fashion sense so like you learn from them and then I kind of uh, implied it on me so I'm trying my best also to you know try fashion. <laughs> in this fashion technology as like which is uh, completely different from the engineering uh, doctor or something other field so, how you were proficient different from other uh, like uh, professions? I think uh, as for me, I have always been interested in science and everything. But uh, since I was like really, since my childhood, I was really interested in art and everything. So I think this is a field where you can truly your express your emotions and creativity and everything, rather than the you know uh, engineering doctor where you're again and again st studying the same theory, formulas and everything, rato, rato. But it's completely different, everything is new. You get to use your own brain into this, you get to u invent new things. So it's really interesting that I'm studying design. Like, uh, it's very tough to uh, convince the parents to come here. And how can you manage the things at home to come here? How you influence, you have to be influenced now. So uh, some people want to inspire from you. So how can you influence your parents? It was like difficult and even to uh, choose my stream also because I take commerce because so, because I wanted to come here and fashion. So I tell them that I wanted, uh, I literally make a PPT that in fashion designing I can do this, 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 this is the scope and uh, uh, like uh, in NIFT we have these kinds of things and uh, if not NIFT and another college also. So these, these are things I can scope on this, if not this to so this. I explain them around, it take me one to two months. Oh my god, it's like a public exam. <laughs> and after that then I like, uh, I uh, without coaching or an institute, I give my exam. So uh, it takes, like they also like nagging me, if you wanted to go then study both like uh, 12th also and CU2 also and NIFT also. Okay. I give all the exams. So they still, I guess they are happy, but I sometimes they are still feel insecure about the, my career and all. Okay. Maybe they, will, they, uh, they become happy after your success yeah. in your life. <laughs> all the best for that. So you, uh, you are from the different state, which is not from Hyderabad. So how can you see the difference between the people outside of the college? So how you feel uh, about Hyderabad and the people around you? 
it's different obviously it's uh, i am from north this is south culture is different the way people talk is different language is different here i'm listening every single language of the state marathi gujarati everything so everything is different but people are sweet uh, and everything is good like temp uh, i think the biggest difference is uh, climate because in north it's hot in the month of august now it's almost monsoon and almost winter kind of so yeah i think the biggest difference is climate and and plus people are sweet so it's it's good i think it's good okay thank you girls thank you so much for your time thank you బేసిక్ గానే మనం అడిగే క్వశ్చన్స్ అన్ని సినిమా పై కరెంట్ అఫైర్స్ పై ఓకే కానీ మనం ఉంది ఫ్యాషన్ టెక్నాలజీ కాలేజ్ లో బేసిక్ గానే విల్ మైండ్ చాలా క్రియేటివ్ మరి ఈ క్రియేటివ్ మైండ్స్ కి కొంచెం టాస్క్ పెడదామా సో లెట్స్ స్టార్ట్ అవర్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ సెగ్మెంట్ ఫన్ క్యూ అండ్ ఏ సో హాయ్ గర్ల్స్ సమ్ లౌడ్ హాయ్ హలో హలో ఓకే దట్స్ గుడ్ సో ఇన్ అవర్ ఇండియా ద ఏజ్ టు మ్యారీ గర్ల్స్ ఇస్ 18th Pakistan what's the age of a girl to marry uh, when did menstruation will come like approx 16 i guess it's you are very 14. near to 14 yeah no 16 yes 17 it's that's good right uh, everywhere we can see the beautiful girls right in some state almost the girls are very beautiful i'm not mentioning you we are not beautiful but as a survey uh, one state almost having the beautiful woman can you mention that state assam. yes right it's assam one uh, living thing never sleep in her whole life what's that living thing okay it's very little yes very tiny uh, living living thing brain no ant that's right it's ant yeah <laughs> okay my next question so all girls are using the lipstick right so if you use the lipstick more and more some disease will uh, uh comes so we uh, what's the dis- uh, diseases you know cancer cancer I- any other problems can- with cancer uh and yes and the organ kid- kidney will uh face some problems yeah kidney issues so can you tell me uh, who always follows the fashion a uh, hero heroines can you mention your favorite ones who follows the fashion favorite from tollywood it will be sam okay uh shobita and runveer uh, singh and uh, okay and uh, your favorite fashion designers from bollywood and tollywood you can mention anyone fashion designer yes i usually don't have i like sarva sasi's design indian swears and all okay fine so you can who is your favorite designer from tollywood or bollywood so anyone manish manish malhotra yeah okay thank you thank you so much girls thank you so hi guys Hello. so i just want to ask you just few very funny questions uh, like sports movies or like okay so my first question is uh, recently one bollywood movie crossed 500 crores uh, can you guess that movie 32 yes that's right that's good so it's 32 and my So you guys watch cricket? Yes. Okay. Recently in some test match Pakistan lost the match. But who win that match? On Pakistan. Opposite. Yes, opposite team. Who win that match? Oh no, Sri Lanka. I'm not sure. Who? You can guess New just Zealand. Guess. No, it's just a test match and uh, it's some other state that's it. It's not the other country. Oh, it's other state versus Pakistan? Yes. Oh, it was a oh, state. Yes. Uh, not hyderabad <laughs> no it's not hyderabad it's a test match actually just a test match in just five week i mean 10 wickets they lost the match pakistan lost the match and other the one won the match that's bangladesh okay so my next question is uh, i mean any bollywood tollywood fashion designers any three uh, three names you can tell manish malhotra archana rao tarun and Dalili. yeah that's good so it's very easy to you guys yes. right okay my next question uh, so i want to know how many courses in fashion designing five Course. six courses yes 
So, can you tell them? So, accessory design, okay. fashion design, knitwear design, leather design, fashion and fashion communication, communication. Textile, textile design. design. Okay, thank you for that. And my next question, 70th National Award, Best Costume Designer. Who got that Best Costume Designer in 70th National Award? Any guess? Uh, designer. Archana Rao. Archana Rao? No. It's Nikki Joshi. Nikki Joshi, yes. And uh, uh, do you know the lifespan of rat? <laughs> lifespan of rat, yes, rat. Is it like three months? Three years. <laughs> everyone, everyone want to I mean like kill kill that right? More if you don't if you not kill them, what's the lifespan of your rat? <laughs> three, three. Uh, it's actually near to it's one year. One year. And my next question is the bird who remembers the person once it see at once its lifetime. Is it a complete lifetime? Sorry? Is it Owl. a parrot? No. Eagle? No. <laughs> Scrow. Oh yes. So uh, my next question, I mean, like uh, uh, you just want to answer this in Telugu and Hindi. Uh, can you tell me the hero heroines names who follow the fashion very much? Your favorite ones? I think Ranveer Singh. Okay. Uh, Priyanka Chopra. Uh, yeah. Okay. Priyanka Chopra. Priyanka Chopra. Yes. Shahid Kapoor is also. Yeah. Very good yeah. Uh, and who else? Yeah. I think yeah, I think I think in Telugu? No. Oh, in Telugu. Yeah. <laughs> Samantha. Yes, of course, Samantha. Rashmika. Rashmika Mandana also. And who else? Okay, that's <laughs> Yeah. Sri Lila is there, yes. More in Saris. She follows the trend like. Uh, okay, my next question. Uh, I mean, uh, fashion means appearance means hair, hair is also there, right? Yeah. So the oil, when you apply, the white hair becomes black. What's that oil name? Job recently. Adivasi. 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 I am asking you about the ingredient. Ingredient is it Ritala? Uh, I have no clue. Tea. Tea tree. Tea. Actually, no. Uh, 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 have you heard about soap? Like uh, after, uh, yeah, that's oil. When you apply that, it will comes. Uh, I mean, your hair becomes black. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for your time, Nehas. Thank you. When fashion students to chit chat funny things anni okay gani will entertainment part ela untundo chuddama so inke em athra late cheyakunda let's start our most wanted segment aadadam paadadam itihas pariksha thi us din chinta mein hriday dhadakta tha the bure shakun ghar se hi mera baaya haath phadakta tha जो सवाल थे याद किए वो भी कुल आधे याद हुए उनमें से कुछ स्कूल तलक आते जाते बर्बाद हुए तुम 20 मिनट हो लेट गेट पर चपरासी ने बतलाया मैं मेल ट्रेन की तरह दौड़ता कमरे के भीतर आया पर्चा हाथों में थाम लिया आंखें मूंदी तक झूम गया पढ़ते ही छाया अंधकार चक्कर आया सर घूम गया था सौ नंबर का पर्चा मुझको दो की भी आस नहीं चाहे सारी दुनिया पढ़ ले मैं हो सकता पास नहीं गीता कहती है कर्म करो फल की चिंता मत किया करो जो मन में आए वो पर्चे पे लिख दिया करो मैंने लिखा पानीपत का युद्ध हुआ था सावन में जापान जर्मनी बीच हुए अठारह में लिख दिया महात्मा गांधी महात्मा बुद्ध महात्मा गांधी के चेले थे गांधी जी के संग बचपन में आंख मिचोली खेले थे महमूद गजनवी रोज सुबह उठकर दो घंटे नाचता था औरंगजेब रंग में आकर दूसरों की जेब काटता था इस इसी तरह के इसी तरह के भावों से भी, फूटे भीतर के फवारे जो जो सवाल थे याद नहीं वो भी पर्चे पे लिख मारे हो गया परीक्षक पागल सा मेरी कॉपी को देख देख बोला सभी छात्रों में होनहार है यही एक 
औरों के पर्चे फेंक दिए मेरे सब उत्तर छाट दिए जीरो नंबर देकर बाकी सारे नंबर काट लिए चंद्रचूड शिव शंकर पार्वती चंद्रचूड शिव शंकर पार्वती चंद्रचूड शिव शंकर पार्वती रमणा नगे नमो नमो रमणा नगे नमो नमो सुंदर तर पीना धर हर सुंदर तर पीना धर हर सुंदर तर पीना धर हर गंगा धर गज चर मर धर गंगा धर गज चर मर धर गंगा धर गज चर मर धर चंद्रचूड शिव शंकर पार्वती रमणा गे नमो नमो धर गे दक्षिण का वेरी धर गे दक्षिण का वेरी कुंभपुर कर दरी बीन गानव मांडुब कर दरी बीन गानव मांडुब उरग भूषण नुनी ने कर लरी भसी मरुद्राक्ष उदरी सीधा परम वैष्णव नुनी गरुड़गमन गरुड़गमन नम पुरंदर विठलन गरुड़गमन नम पुरंदर विठलन प्राण प्रिय कनंदूड शिव शंकर पार्वती चंद्रचूड शिव शंकर पार्वती रमना शोबिलो सप्त स्वर शो बिलो 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 सप्त स्वर सुंदरो भजिम पवे मन सा शो बिलो सप्त स्वर नाभी कंठर सना 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 नाभी कंठर सना
कलठर सनाना भी रे कलठर सनाना सा दूल तो ना भी रे कलठर सनाना भी रे कलठर सनाना सा दूल तो सा सा पानी सा नि प मग नि प मगरी सा नि सा सा मग प म नि प सा नि गरी सा गरी सा ग म प नि सा सा प सा नि प म नि नि म नि प मग म प सा प म गरी सा सा म गरी सा सा नि प म म गरी सा सा ग म प नि सा सा नि प म म गरी सा सा नि प नि सा गरी सा म गरी सा प म नि प म गरी सा सा नि प म गरी सा नि प नि सा ग म प नि सा नि प नि सा रे सा ग रे सा म ग रे सा नि प नि सा ग रे सा म ग रे सा प म नि प प सा नि प म नि सा ग रे सा ग म प नि सो गो बिल जो सप्त सर सुंदरुल भजम पवे मन सा सो गो बिल जो सप्त सर मैं सब में विलीन मुझ में सब विलय है मुझसे ही सृजन मुझसे ही प्रलय है मैं ही हूँ तो शेष सैया पे लेटा मैंने ही नाग वसुकी को कंठ में लपेटा पाप पुण्य सब मुझसे ही है राम काज करीबे को आतुर हनुमान भी तो मेरा ही अंश है वध किया मैंने जिसका वो जालंधर भी तो मेरा ही दंश है द्वापर भी मैं त्रेता भी मैं रामायण भी मैं महाभारत का रचयता भी मैं रास रचयता रणछोड़ भी मैं मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम रघुराम भी मैं सृजन करता परशुराम भी मैं अंत करता घनश्याम भी मैं कि पासे फेंक कर मैंने ही तो दृत क्रिया में अपमान बड़े किए शिक्षित कर मैंने ही महारथी द्रोण भीष्म कर्ण योद्धा तीन महान खड़े किए यह न होते तो युद्ध को कौन सजता उस और से बनकर मृत्यु कौन गरजता कि नियति यही थी उन अजय अजीत अजरों की ये युद्ध अटल था अरे दुर्योधन में कहाँ युद्ध का बल था मैं था धर्म था रथ पे अंजनीय थे इस और ही तो समस्त विजय का दल था कि देकर अल्प पराजय दीर्घकालीन विजय उसे दिलाई बताओ यहाँ न्याय कैसा पूछते हो जो तुम केशव से हाय ये कर्ण के साथ न्याय कैसा दान कर जिसने अपनी मृत्यु दानवीर वो कहलाया देकर कवच कुंडल राधे ने इंद्र तक को बहलाया तन मन धन धर्म चेतन अवचेतन दान सूर्य पुत्र ने अपना सर्वस्व किया माटी भय राज बाट सारे मिथ्या अपने समक्ष सबका यश किया कि भेद सके न कोई वान जिस वक्ष को भेदती थी उसे कटु वानी शैल्य की प्रशंसा क्या करूं मैं उसके धैर्य की कि धनुधर वो हठी बढ़ा परमेश्वर के आगे अकेला खड़ा जिसके पौरुष पराक्रम पे देवता भी घबराए थे मृत्यु पे उसके क्या मित्र क्या शत्रु प, आ, केशव पार्थ सबके नेत्र भर आए थे कि चार श्वेत अश्वों के रथ पे गांडिव लिए सज्ज थे सारथी मुत्सा अंजनीय जिसके ध्वज थे दृश्य देख ये महादेव को छोड़ सब भयभीत हुए जाते थे शीर उसके उसके रथी पार्थ को भी विस्मित किए जाते थे कि घड़ी घड़ी पग पग मैंने उसे ठोकरों से बचाया नियति ने तो बस उसे पांडवों का ज्येष्ठ बताया कि पिघला कर स्वर्ण मैंने अपने ताप से धनुधर मैंने उसे सर्वश्रेष्ठ बनाया हाँ हाँ श्राप से मेरे ही क्षीण उसका ज्ञान हुआ किंतु वो वर भी तो मेरा ही था जिससे तेजस्वी उसका हरवान हुआ कि देकर अल्प पराजय दीर्घकालीन विजय उसे दिलाई बताओ यहाँ न्याय कैसा पूछते हो जो तुम केशव से हाय ये कर्ण के साथ न्याय कैसा हाय ये कर्ण के साथ न्याय कैसा कि न्याय अन्याय पे वाद विवाद तुम मुझ से करते हो संताप तुम उस परमवीर पे करते हो जाति पाति ऊंच नीच का एक भेद अब तक न तुमसे मिटाया गया और देखो अनिति की इस सभा में मुझ पर ही लाछन लगाया गया कि कोई मुंह में तो कोई वचन में बदबद जाते थे ज्ञानियों का ज्ञान वीरों की भुजाएं एक के अन्यायों पर क्यों मौन हुए जाते थे हृदय में धर्म का उपवन लिए अधर्म के वन में खड़ा था सानिध्य पाकर उसे ही तो दुर्योधन का मन बढ़ा था माना था बड़ा धर्मवीर वो किंतु असभ्यों की उस सभा में पांचाली को वैश्या वो बोल पड़ा था हथेलियों में क्या सोबते वो रक्त लेकर जिसे वो अपने धमनियों में खड़ा था कि विजयी होकर वो ये धर्म युद्ध कौन सा वो नायक हो जाता अंत कर निज अनुजों का दुर्योधन से भी बड़ा वो खलनायक हो जाता कि सूत पूत बताया उसे क्या इसमें सूतों का दोष था निष्कलंक बचाया उसे उस कालखंड से जिसमें बस राजपूतों का दोष था 
कि राधे ही हर दबे कुचले की आशा हुआ जाए आज देखो राधे ही वीरों की परिभाषा हुआ जाए देकर अल्प पराजय दीर्घकालीन विजय उसे दिलाई बताओ यहाँ न्याय कैसा पूछते हो जो तुम के सबसे हाय ये कर्ण के साथ न्याय कैसा हाय ये कर्ण के साथ न्याय మన ముందే ఫ్యాషన్ టెక్నాలజీలో ఫ్యాషన్ టెక్నాలజీ అంటేనే క్రియేటివ్ వర్డ్ ఈ క్రియేటివ్ వర్డ్ లో స్టూడెంట్స్ ఎలా ఆలోచిస్తారు వాళ్ళ యొక్క క్రియేటివ్ మైండ్ ఎలా ఉంటుంది అండ్ కరెంట్ అఫైర్స్ మీద వాళ్ళకు ఉన్న ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఏంటో తెలుసుకోవడానికి లెట్స్ స్టార్ట్ అవర్ ఫేవరెట్ సెగ్మెంట్ యూత్ ఫార్మ్ హలో एवरीवन వి ఆర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ NIFT హైదరాబాద్ అండ్ టుడే వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ఆర్సెల్స్ వాట్ అవర్ కాలేజ్ స్టాండ్స్ ఫర్ అండ్ ఆల్సో వాట్ వి ఇన్ జనరల్ యాస్ డిజైన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ డు హియర్ what are current fashion trends and what are all the things which fall under NIFT in general beginning with design and fashion i think there is a myth associated with the course or the degree many people assume that you know it's it's a easy course or it's an approachable course where you have it's a fun course as well where you have to explore your creativity uh, open your imagination and work as you wish to but coming at NIFT i realized that it's something more vast than just creativity and just designing it also implies on how your brain works how you apply your concepts and thoughts so more than creativity itself it has a lot of logical input into all the works we do as well and coming on to the hard or the easy job according to me it equally takes a lot of effort and sleepless nights and hard working days to complete everything all the assignments on time according to me it takes a lot of good schedule a good working experience and management time which all combined together makes a student a person with a task which which is very hideous to cover but still you have to so it's like it's not as easy as it sounds and it's obviously not so difficult to cover but you have to give your best yeah and coming to nift it's not just the curriculum you'll have to consider i think uh, the main contributing part to getting you ready for the industry would be the environment you're placed in the kind of people you're around and you know it really puts you into that uh, place where there's a lot of creative fluids flowing so i think that also helps a lot in designing you in like getting you ready as a designer and uh, NIFT Hyderabad has done a lot of projects over the time one of them was uh, designing the uniform for the NMDC the mineral resources department and uh, another previous year project or uh, we had a GI summit so it was to tag the 10 years of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana's traditional crafts and we had a coffee book table one of our students had done it and over that i think currently we are working like uh, two of our professors uh, professor venkatesh and professor wasim are working on a fabric finish for active wear so that is our current project it's funded by the government yeah and then we also have our uh, ccdi visits nift as an institution has taken up the initiative to come up with craft research documentation for each campus so like uh, at the end of second year so every student is supposed to uh, complete this documentation so what happens is that we are assigned clusters clusters is actually uh, a place of artisan or work uh, workspace so where we have to go and uh, search about the craft and document the entire process so uh, we are divided into groups and this is also a fun activity like my peers mentioned uh, ki it's a tedious task it's not very easy to be in the campus but uh, our college also takes this initiative to maintain a pace so that's it's easier for the students to uh, complacent and also have fun during all the processes so like when this initiative uh, is uh, given to each student so what we do is we go there and uh, be sensitized with the environment of the artisans we uh, learn about the craft we learn uh, the entire documentation so for example my group had gone this year to uh, karim nagar for silver filigree so what we learned was uh, that the artisans work in very 
clustered spaces. So there are three workshops that we had to visit and we had to see the entire documentation process, uh, the entire making process, how the silver rods are made, how they are crafted into small metal, uh, metal pieces and how the jewelry pieces are made. And also today's uh, fashion is so evolving that for example, silver filigree earlier it was only for the jewelry. But now can you imagine they're making cutlery out of it? They are making show pieces out of it. We had a toothpick stand or a toothpick holder for it. That's like so much fun. So that's all we cover and it's a fun experience. It's also uh, a very good learning experience that we have to see. We have to go live in their environment and see how things work. I have uh, been to Bastar Chhattisgarh to study Dhokra craft. So uh, more than just studying the craft, I think it was more, it was more to that. Like, I, as a person, was humbled down so much because today, after seeing their lives, living with them for like around 15 days, if I look at a problem today, my way of looking or approaching it will be way different, you know. So, I, I realize that life for different people is so different. And in a fashion industry, especially at NIFT, when we work with artisans so closely, I think it's very important for us to uh, actually empathize with them and that actually taught us so many things and not just for our side uh, NIFT every year has this um, thing called craft bazaar where um, artisans from all over the place uh, all over India come and display their works and not just that they get um, personalized workshops from our uh, expert faculties so I think that way uh, NIFT is doing a good job to empower them uh, I study in fashion communication department and um, every year we do branding for them as well so i think every department does some contribution to the artisans from their side which is uh, a great deal very similar to your craft cluster visit i also went to adil abar to study dokra now what i learned there was the differences in the procedures of making of dokra in probably bastar or in adil abar and Along with sensitization of students towards the craft, what it also does is helps us to understand the difference in processes and to find solutions regarding the same. So what we are not doing is just going there and studying a problem or understanding the problem, but we are also working on finding solutions. And that is where we step in as a designer. Um, coming to design and coming to the sensitization of students towards crafts, I think NIFT is an institute which is deeply rooted towards its Indian culture. And while it is very easy to go towards Western ideas or Western ideologies, uh, an institute helping its students stay rooted to Indian culture is a groundbreaking move, I would say. And it's very necessary at the same time. Uh, and this push towards culture is not just through craft clusters or documentation of books. It is also through mundane activities like having heritage walks around the city. So we are students that come from all parts of the country. And it's very necessary to understand the design of a particular city, the history of a particular city to work in its environment. And that's basically what these heritage walks do for us. So I completely agree with what Sahil just said. And uh, we showcase what happens in the society through our dramas and to our, uh, with the help of our dramatics club, we have showcased a lot of dramas with these issues. I will say that uh, fashion designing is not always about what you showcase through your clothing or how you look or you, how you express. It is about what message you are giving out, what statement you are giving out. And uh, adding on with the help of the drama, we, we showcase what happens in the society. For example, recently during Janmashtami, we had a drama in which we highlighted what happened in Kolkata and how, like, how it is influenced in our culture, how we should deal with it and how it is taught in Mahabharata and what are the teachings of, of Krishna on the same issue. Uh, it was titled uh, Draupadi Aaj Ke Yug Mein. So it shows that what is the plight of a woman which is happening right now and how it is connected to what happened in the Dwapar Yuga. So, you, so NIFT is not only about uh, fashion designing and stuff. It teaches you overall how to showcase what is happening outside, incorporate it. And it is about overall development because there are, uh, we talked about literary and dramatics club, there are several other clubs. Th there is uh, cultural clubs, there is sports clubs. So it is about overall development. So it would be right to say that a design college designs your personality 
so that it is equipped enough to leave a mark in whatever field you are going to be in future. And maybe adding to the relevance of how these Vedic scriptures or old texts are still relevant in our curriculum, uh, if you see there are a lot of period films coming up these days, right from Kalki to maybe Bahubali or RRR, we are all set in a background which is very historic. Now to, you know, portray the sets or costumes of this effectively, we need to study the history. We need to study the timeline it was set in. And if we study our culture well enough, we will be very well equipped to portray our reality, our costumes, our sets in a very natural manner. And I think that is the beauty of our culture being integrated with our education system. And at NIFT, we are very proud to be doing that. So. When we are thinking about design or when we are thinking about fashion, we not only study the culture or the influence or the background of whatever we are studying right now in the college, but we also are becoming more than just a citizen in our country. We are thinking beyond what we as humans and we as citizens of our India should do. Because in our course also, it is included that we should as designers not only know about our own culture but also about how the world is working and what is the culture around the world what has been the history of the world i think it's not just the way of living but it's also a fearless way of living that nif teaches us because when it comes to standing for our artisans or the craft itself we become very vocal we do not tolerate a printed ikat or you know marketing through your uh, clothing it, it is there for a purpose, the craft needs to be there for a purpose, it needs to be practiced in a particular manner because if you're not doing that, if you're just finding cheap alternatives or machine-made alternatives, then we are being highly unjust towards the craft itself. I, I feel like people generally think that design is aesthetics, design is beauty, but I we all know that uh, design is more than that. Design is problem solving. We as des uh, designers are problem solvers. Empathy has become something that we practice every day. Also, uh, many people might confuse modernity with what just Hansika said. So modernity is not printing cheap fabrics or not uh, making cheaper products. You know, modernity is, uh, for example, if we have a Kalamkari design. So Kalamkari has very particular motifs. So for example, new flower motif is being introduced in that. That's modernity. For example, there's a Dokra metal craft. So for example, a new shape is being created to, uh, you know, modernize it or to appeal it to the audience. That's what modernity is. And it's not just, uh, printing cheaper things and everything. So for example, we organize so many events now. So, uh, you know, having a collaboration amongst all of us uh, in the club, also outside it, is very necessary. So that's how empathy works. And it's a beautiful, beautiful environment that our college has created for us. We are very grateful for all of it that we have a decent curriculum. And also, uh, outside of it, we have so many extracurricular activities that add on to it. So. To all our viewers, if you had to come up with a summation of everything we said and you want to begin somewhere, you can begin by the art of observing. Because once you begin to observe, you will begin to notice where you want change and be the change. Thank you so much. friends, fashion college, signing off. Keep watching DD Thank you.